Hello friends, welcome to Coding Garden. In this video, I'm going to solve as many 7Q code katas as possible in 7 minutes and 77 seconds. Here we go. Uh, the first one is head, tail, init, and last. <laughs> so this says, Haskell has some use useful functions for dealing with lists. Your job is to implement these functions in your given language. Make sure it doesn't edit the array. That would cause problems. Here's a cheat sheet. I mean, basically, it's just like head, tail. Let's see. Let's go. Implement the functions. So it literally wants these functions to exist. So head is a function that takes in an array. Let's call it list. And we just need to return a uh, list at zero. So the first thing in the list is that, is that what it's expecting? Yeah, that's, that should be it. All right. And then a uh, tail, it wants everything in the list except for the first one. So there's a built-in function in arrays in JavaScript called slice. And that creates a copy starting at the given index. So that would do that. And then uh, init wants everything except the last value. So again, sli slice would work from zero to the list length minus one. Length minus one minus two would be init. And then last just returns the last one in the array. So there is this new function. I don't know if we have access to it at negative one. I don't think we have access to it. Well, we're in node 18. Let's try it. Okay. Uh, expected nine to deeply equal one, five, and seven. Init failed. Expected 46. Um, I want slice. Slice starts. Um, what? Oh, I called it. I called it a knit again. <laughs> well, we should call that last. Let's try again. All right. Um, I guess we only want length minus one, not length minus two. Nice. Okay. <laughs> I got really perplexed there. That took us a little over a minute to complete. We got to, we got to pick up some, we got to pick up speed here. All right. This next one, digits explosion. Even a string made of digits zero through nine, return a string where each digit is repeated a number of times equal to its value. Okay. I can do that. Here we go. So it's a string. Is it a string? Yeah. We take in a string and then, and then split. Okay. So here's what we need to do. We want to say, take that, split it on the empty string. And then we want, we're going to, I guess we'll do it with a reduce. So we have the result and then we have each individual char or character and we'll start off on the empty string and then we'll return result plus the current character as a number. So if you do I think there's a built-in repeat on strings and if we turn it into a number like that, easy done. Yes. Okay. Let's keep moving. <laughs> Next one is love versus friendship. If A equals one and B equals two and C equals three, uh, then love is 54. Okay. So we, we need to sum up all the characters, but A is one and then uh, Z is 26. So real quick, if we use char code at, that gives us that. So if I do any letter minus 96, well, two lowercase minus 96 is going to give us a value one through 26 like this. Okay, so that's that's what I need to use. And so we, again, we can split it, map it. So take the string. I don't like that they called it string, but that's okay. Split it, and then we're going to reduce it to get the total sum, and we get each character. And now we're going to start with the sum of zero, and we want to return the sum plus that character to lowercase minus 90. So this whole thing should be in parentheses because we're trying to find the value of it. That's it. Here we go. Nice. Okay. Next one, my language skills. You're given a dictionary hash object containing some languages in your test results in the given languages. Return the list of languages where your test score is at least 60. Here we go. So we have an object with a bunch of stuffs in it like this. We want to return any of them which are greater than 60 and we return a list of them. So let's actually do uh, object dot entries on here on the results. So that should give us an array of arrays and we can filter that where each language and score. So we'll have language comma score and we want where each score is greater than is at least 60. So greater than or equal to 60. And so this filter is going to give us the entries, but we actually only want the languages themselves. So we're going to map that to give us the ling like this and that should do it okay expected hindi greek and dutch to deeply equal dutch greek and hindi no they have to be in what in what order do they have to be in uh the scores will always be unique oh in descending order of the scores okay okay so we actually need to sort it before we map it so we're going to sort we have a and then b and we'll do a minus b like this we might have to do b minus a yeah so we'll have to do b minus a 
All right, we have a minute and 48. I think this is going to do it. Yes, we got it. Awesome. Minute and 48 to do a few more. So build a square is the next one. I'll give you an integer. Give me back a shape with it as long as it, and as wide as the integer. So three, we get three. We need to create a, a shape with that. Okay, so we're returning a list separated by new lines. Okay, so here's what we'll do. We'll take the number, turn it into an array. So this is going to give us an array of that length. And so for each one, we need to uh, repeat the value. So for each one, we'll say uh, we take the plus sign and then repeat it integer times that's going to give us an array with a bunch of stuff in it and then we join it all together on the new line like that uh with the the other way like that right Yes. Okay. Okay. We have 38 seconds. We can do one more. One more. Alphabet war. There's a war. The uh, there's too too many words. Z right side wins. Write a function that accepts fight. <laughs> There's too many, too many instructions. I can't figure this out. Write a function that accepts fight string consists of only small letters and returns who wins the fight. Yeah, no, I, I got caught up on this. I, I can't even, I can't even think straight as to what this is asking me to do. That's it. That's it. That all. So we did. We did five. We did five in seven minutes, seventy-seven seconds. Uh, yeah, that's all. Thank you for watching this. If you found other possible solutions to the ones that I solved here, feel free to throw it in the comments. I'll also add the caveat that yes, I know these are seven cues and these are fairly easy. That's why I was able to do so many in this time frame. If these did not seem easy to you, that's also okay. Uh, you can go to CodeWars.com to practice, uh, and you probably want to start at like eight Q to make sure you can get those down before you start on the seven cues. Thank you for watching this. Definitely check out Coding.Garden to find all my links links and learn about all my stuffs. Uh, I'm live right now on Twitch. If you visit twitch.tv slash coding garden, you can watch live as well. And a quick plug for my React Roots course. So this is a course I recently launched that uh, teaches the basics of building modern single page web applications with React and TypeScript. And uh, if you check out reactroots.com, you can learn more. All right. See you in the next one.